everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Luxuries. I am making um, rose soap. And I swore after the last time I made rose, I was never going to make it again because I hate rose. I mean, I love roses. Roses are one of my favorite flowers. Um, I have a few favorites. I've got, I like rose and I like hydrangea and uh, my favorite is... Um, Hibiscus. Oh my gosh, I forgot for a moment. Hibiscus. But anyway, I, I love I love rose, but I don't like the smell of rose in products. Um, it just smells dirty to me, and it's overpowering. So why am I making rose? Well, rose is one of my most requested fragrances. Um, my customers like it. They buy it. And when I ran out last year, um, you know, I told people I'm not making it again. But, and that, that upset people. People want it. So, here I am. However, I'm not making the same rose that I've done before. Every time I've made rose, it's been a new fragrance. And just trial and error, trying to find something that I can tolerate. And the last one we had was so bad. It was so strong that I couldn't even leave it in um, my soap room because it just overpowered everything. And my soap room is a big part of my house. And um, you walked in and, and you, you smelled it. It was, it was pretty bad. I mean, if you liked rose, it was good, but it was pretty bad. Let's, let's face it. So I was glad when it sold out. And I still have a great big huge bottle of it that will never be used. So if you want a really strong smelling rose fragrance, message me and you can pay shipping and have it. But anyway, seriously though. Um, so I found a new supplier, one that I've been wanting to try for a long time. And she had a rose and I'd heard good things about it. And I was ordering from her anyway. So I thought, well, I want more white than anything else here. I'll go ahead and try her rose. So I ordered a, a bottle and oh my gosh, I love it. It smells really good. When you smell it, um, what I told my husband was it reminds me of a light pink rose. It just, I mean, it's like smelling a light pink fresh rose. Um, in fact, I've got it sitting here. I've poured the fragrance out and it's not trying to kill me so that's a good sign it's very light and subtle it's not overpowering at all so I'm gonna do more white same design as I've done before so if you have seen me make this before it's gonna be the same except the last time I made rose I was trying to figure out my new molds and it came out short so this time it should what I want it to be. Look pretty and smell nice. I guess the problem I have with some of the roses is they can smell dirty to me or they smell you know really really strong and they make you sneeze. Um, they, they smell fake and perfumey. And that's the problem I have with it. I mean, I love walking through a rose garden or something. When we first built our house, um, I'd always wanted a lot of rose bushes. And I had, I don't even remember how many I had, a dozen. At least. At least. My husband's sitting here. He said at least a dozen, probably more. But um, over the years, I did decide to take them out because there's so much work and everything I have going on with the kids and everything. I just didn't have the time anymore. So to take them out and I have some lower maintenance plants now. I've got tons of hydrangeas. I love hydrangea. <clears throat> oh, I guess I need to put my fragrance in before I can do the mold. And I need to blend up my white. Hello. Okay, I haven't made soap since September, possibly October, pretty sure September. And it's January. 
mid-January now. I made a batch earlier tonight and it went fine. At least I think it did. Okay. Now I'm going to add my fragrance. Let's see what it does. It's had good reviews. It wasn't supposed to rice or accelerate, but everybody's soap is different. And Rose is one of those that is kind of a fast mover. I don't have any ricing that I can see on the, in that one. But I want to stir fast. a spoon swirl. That's what I normally do. If I have enough time, I'll run a hanger through it, but um, with rose, I don't typically have enough time. Gardenia is the other one. Gosh, the gardenia I got, um, that's another one that I got along with this one was gardenia, so that will be coming after this. But the last gardenia I ordered, I ordered with the rose that I didn't like. And it was a great smelling gardenia, but oh my gosh, it was soap on a stick. It was so hard to work with. It was kind of crazy. In fact, I think I laughed the whole time because it was just so um, mind-blowing how fast it thickened up. All right. Now that I have my fragrance and my soap, I can go ahead and, oh yeah, we've got a plopper. That's okay. It didn't rice, so I'm okay with that. And I will just pour fast. Actually, I'm really surprised the white is pretty fluid. Usually that's the biggest culprit. all the kids outside it's we've been hit with snow and there hasn't been any school well my kids since they're homeschooled they've had school but the other kids no school so I hear them outside goofing off I think I need more red in these corners White is staying crazy fluid. The red's kind of got a funny texture, so does the pink, but it's not racing. I think it's just kind of setting up fast is all. I'm just going to plop the rest of this in here. Whoa. I just flung soap, but I don't know where it went. Yeah, our little town, well, not just our little town, but the big cities around us have completely shut down because we've been hit by snow and I mean we can't even get mail. We haven't gotten mail in a couple of days. I can't get anything shipped. <laughs> Which I find ironic because the post office motto is, isn't it, um, rain or sleet or snow? What's the motto, honey? Um, something like the rain or sleet or snow or dark at night will keep the mail from being delivered or something like that. Yeah, well, whatever it is, apparently it's not true. <laughs> I have a friend that lives up in the hills not too far from us, and she hasn't gotten mail at all this year. So, who knew? I had no idea that the mail wouldn't come. 
but the, um, the big trucks can't get up to us. So, we've all been stuck at home, and I needed to do something. I was going a little stir crazy, so I thought I would make soap. I haven't soaked in a while, and I really don't need to right now. This is my time off. Um, I have my next show is in April, so I just kind of I make a ton of soap for the end of the year and have enough to hold me over with my store until I need more soap in April. But I felt like soaping. I had to smack that really hard. It's getting pretty thick. So, I have a spoon. Oh, it's. This is kind of awkward. This spoon in this mold. I probably should use a bigger spoon. Lovely. That doesn't look so pretty. Maybe a stick would have been better. I've got I'm feeling some really big chunks of soap with them. Really not. And I'm going to slam this down on the floor. Okay. Hopefully, the inside of this looks better than the top does right now. I'm going to stay positive. And I'm going to put some white on the top. white is definitely thick now and it's getting that same funky texture that the others did. It's just setting up fast now. I have a cramp in my hand from trying to get that spoon through there. It was thick. But that's okay. It wasn't so bad that it wasn't you know, workable. I'm just going to have to go faster next time, I think. Or maybe plan something different. Maybe instead of doing the spoon swirl with this like I typically do, maybe I'll layer it next time. Saved some, make sure you can see, some red. Just the perfect amount. Some red. And some pink mica.
fact, I think it was just two days ago I had someone contact me looking for rose. So I'm really glad I found this this rose. We'll see how it um, does in the next few days and in the next few weeks. And the last one I got, sometimes fragrances tone down with time. It didn't. It just kept getting stronger and stronger. And when the last bar sold, we all kind of celebrated. Even my 11-year-old, who um, her favorite smells are the florals and the perfumes and the musky smells. She loves them. And she normally loves rose. And she did at first. And then after a while, I think she was over it. So it was okay in small batches. One single bar wasn't too bad. But when you put 24 of them together, it's overwhelming pretty fast. Especially when it's just a strong fragrance to begin with. So it's nice to have a light, natural smelling rose. The lighting isn't the greatest. The sun was so bright today, shining off the snow. I just couldn't find a good time to make soap. But, okay, there is rose. Don't go anywhere, and I will have the cutting on the back half of this. Okay, here is rose. Inside, the side looks kind of funky, so I'm hoping once I cut into it, um, I had a little bit of an air pocket on the end. Not on the bottom. I thought I felt some on the bottom, but I'm not. Not too bad. Um... little bit of a swirl and not too muddled. I went down to the bottom but it doesn't look like I did. I was thinking about this last night. I think usually when I do rose because it's a fast mover I just um, use a spoon and randomly throw colors in. Um, big air pocket there but I will plane these and fill pockets. There's the last piece. I'll cut another one. And I'll go ahead and cut this one. Um, the smell is still very subtle. It's very nice. It's not overpowering. The last rose I made got stronger with time. This one has not. It's still very light and subtle. That's a pretty one. I hear all the cars driving by on the ice. We've ventured out today. They've plowed the main roads, but um, the side roads are pretty sketchy and my ABS was in overdrive today, but yeah, it, it works. We know it works. So, I can hear all the cars crunching as they drive by. Okay, and here is the last piece that I'm going to do on video. Another air pocket, but they're so easy to fill. You know, they're not a big deal. They're just looks and honestly I thought I was going to have a lot more air pockets so I'm pretty pleased that I don't have very many. But this is Rose and Rose will be cured and available mid-February 2017 on my website StargazerLuxuries.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.